Hey everyone, this is Dan. I wanted to talk about um, my experience with AJAT. In this past two years that I've dealt with AJAT, I've been learning Japanese through this method. Um, I tried learning other languages before uh, through different methods, and um, finding AJAT has definitely been the most beneficial thing for me in terms of language learning. And but it's been a bumpy road. It has not been perfect, or as, or has as I have hoped. And uh, I wanted to maybe make this video for myself to look at in the future, and for maybe for those who uh, are struggling right now, um, being consistent with AJAT. Um, so yeah, I discovered AJAT about two years ago, um, reading articles on Reddit, and someone mentioned it, and I really thought it was a scam, and. Uh, I eventually just gave in and said, you know what, I'm just going to read it and see what it says. And it turned out that it was very helpful. And uh, I live by it now. So, And it's been very beneficial not just for language learning, but also for, for other areas of my life. So I made a timeline describing um, basically what my life has been in AJAD <clears throat> in the past two years. I started in November 2013 and did the RTK phase. Um, I, f I completed that in May 2014. Um, during that time I was on and off immers immersing. I was immersing most, most of the time, listening to um, podcasts and watching anime and listening to music with a couple of my buddies who were also attempting to do the same. Um, and that was very fun. Um, and then I was so eager to finish RTK and get two sentences, and I discovered um, this other website, Jallop, um, Japanese Level Up, and they made sentences for you, um, certain decks that you could go through as a beginner and then on to intermediate and so on and so forth. And I did that for about, um, what was it? six months and that was kind of a bad decision because it made me turn Anki into a uh, sort of a, a thing that I hated <coughs> rather than collecting sentences that are fun and things that I want to collect I, d I started going through these decks and figured that if I had reached 10,000 cards, then I would become fluent, but learning a language is a lot more to, there's a lot more to learning a language than just learning sentences. You have to have the initial um, listening and reading, constantly being exposed to language all the time, and um, I turned my age at uh, life into jallop uh, sentences, and I was basically all I did and I would occasionally do stuff in Japanese but not not very much um, after I realized how unbeneficial it were I did about 2500 of those sentences and then did about 500 of my own so I, I reached about 3000 um, and uh, I kinda got depressed as, at this point and by the end of November because I realized that I was having no fun and I was going completely against the Asia mindset and um, turning Japanese into a chore and a study rather than something that's fun and uh, something that is a self revolving process you know something that pulls itself along rather I was pushing it really hard to to get to the end or whatever the end is and uh, for about a long time I from November 2014 to July 2015 I pretty much didn't do any age adding at all. I deleted my decks. Um, I still I still kept up with the RTK reps, but I deleted my sentences because I thought I just thought they were I just couldn't do them anymore. It just was so um, you know, bearing on me that I just couldn't do it. And um, this was a pretty rough time because I I had I have a couple friends who have successfully used age you know. Um, and they they're encouraging to me a lot throughout this this time and uh, I really couldn't have anything to show for it 
Um, so then in July of this year, I got really tired of, of not making any progress in Japanese at all. And I uh, started, I kind of just started all over again. Um, I kept my RTK deck, but I started doing um, the traditional way of doing kanji the written way. Um, so I, instead of just seeing the kanji and giving the the, um, the the keyword, I would instead do the opposite way and get the keyword and uh, write down the kanji. Um, this has been a lot more beneficial um, for me because it's my retention rates are way higher during this time. Um, they're about 95 percent, and for my for the lazy kanji, it's a lot lower than that. I think it's around yeah, it's around 90 percent. But but when you get to the, up to the mature levels, it's down to 76. So it really is not a, as beneficial and. Uh, I would not recommend it for people. Um, so yeah, I started doing the real kanji over again, and I've been doing that ever since. Um, and it's been very slow and steady. It's been very fun. I really haven't been pushing myself. Been about 10 to 15 cards a day, and it's been a good time. And uh, at the same time, I've been rereading AJAT um, periodically. I I read maybe an article or two a day, or I'll binge read. You know, like. 10 in one sitting just because it's just addicting to keep keep reading them and being because they're so encouraging um, and so uh, during while I'm reading articles I'll, I'll pull out cats quotes and I'll, I'll SRS them um, because they're very <laughs> very helpful to see them again and they give me motivation throughout the day so yeah um, I haven't started sentences yet again but I know I'm preparing myself to do so very soon. I'm not waiting to finish RTK again, but I'm waiting, I guess, to... I'm afraid to jump in and do them again out of fear of uh, of hating sentences all over. But going in with the new mindset of picking out sentences that I want rather than what I need is really the way that I'm going to go and the really, way, really the way that people should go. And I recommend it to never make Japanese a boring thing, but always to make it fun. Um, speaking of fun, I also am, I am constantly trying to immerse myself. I'm listening to a podcast right now in one ear, and I'm a, I also like to watch YouTube videos. Um, Senna being one of them, he's a he's a YouTuber who commentates on on video games like a let, let's play. Um, really entertaining. And for those who probably have seen Kyochan before, he's hilarious. Um, this isn't mainly what I do, watch videos, but I will watch them occasionally when I have free time. I am in college, so it, it is hard to have active immersion. Um, so when I am, I, I'll, I'll watch like a clip or a YouTube video. Um, for times that I have longer period, when I have longer periods of time, I'll watch a drama or a anime or read a manga or something. And I have a lot of anime in, in my computer and a lot of manga as, as well and I'll do that um, that's that's mostly my active immersion so yeah this is just an update or not an update but a, a start to a maybe a long um, journey of videos where I can update um, my progress and this is a hopefully beneficial to some people um, and definitely going to be beneficial to me in the future looking back Alright, thanks for listening.